wife wants to know where I am, so I've got to browse through these. Send her a text message to you I'm sitting in a conference room. I did, but almost no. All right, Vig, let's, uh, let's move into the hardwood and talk about our local, beloved, high-expectation New York Knicks. Who's the Houdini of the hardwood? Uh, Bob Cousy. Bob Cousy. There we go. Now I know. Now I know. I like my favorite is the, uh, the Iceman. George Gerber. George Gerber. You know, for, as far as nicknames go. San Antonio Spurs. Love them. So uh, either way, with that, yeah. our boys, New York Knicks, are not good. They're a Six poor and team. Ten. Poor team. Six and ten. No one expected that. You know, we kind of said second half of last season, after we bring in Carmelo, team would get a little better, build a little of that chemistry. Okay, you know what? 2011, 2012 is the season. It's not the season. Well, what's the problem, sir? So, fitsandvig.com was the first to report on Tyson Chandler's acquisition. I mean, I mean, if we weren't the first, we were like the third, because we were yeah, all we had it quick, yeah. Not only that, but Vig posted that I, I wasn't on board with Tyson Chandler being the final piece to the championship puzzle. To me, Tyson Chandler is a piece, mm -hmm. but you're still one piece away, that piece being a, an adequate point guard. Yeah. Tyson Chandler is a defensive player. Tyson Chandler is a nice player, but he's not the guy that they're paying him. They're paying him to be the final piece. They gave him almost a max contract. Yeah, a lot of money. And, and in the NBA, with a 50-some-odd million dollar salary cap, you're going to give a guy almost max contract because you have two other max contracts guy in Stoudemire and Carmelo I think they overpaid for uh, Chandler they overvalued Chandler 6-10 and 10 record what's happening right now is the offense is stagnant people are watching Carmelo and uh, Amari Stoudemire is not getting the ball enough that's on offense right. on defense even though Tyson Chandler has certainly solidified the center position Every player only plays 30 some odd minutes a game. Mm -hmm. There's 48 minutes in one right. game. So you're talking about 25 to 35% of the game, your best defensive player is not on the court simply because we're all human and we can't run up and down the court at full speed for 48 minutes. The, the Knicks are struggling on defense, the offense is stagnant, and Mike D'Antoni's offense is coming under, uh, under fire because normally a D'Antoni offense is all about passing, all about the passing game, all about the extra pass, all about getting a shot up in seven seconds. With the Knicks, you're seeing a lot of standing around and watching Melo. Well, let me ask you this thing. If, uh, I mean, obviously, I think a lot of people have said that Melo's taking too many shots. He needs to move the ball to Stoudemire a little bit. Without personnel changes, is this team at least a playoff team this year? Or do they need to at least make some move before they can make a run of being 500 and getting into the playoffs as a, as a six seed, as an eight seed? Who knows? Yeah. They'll get in as an eight seed, I believe, but if they were in the West, there'd be no way. There'd be no chance. Right. There'd be no way. So I think they, they can squeak in because you know teams like Boston, they're down. Yeah. If, if, if you think about the, the East right now, you've got Miami, you've got Orlando, uh, you've got the Bulls. Chicago, yeah. But you don't have that, that next level of crop, the, the, the Knicks can beat any of those teams. The Knicks can beat the Charlotte Bobcats, who are ahead of them, by the way, in the standings. Absolutely. But the Knicks have beat them by two points in Charlotte. So the you know, point is, offense is stagnant. Not enough shots for Stoudemire, but that's on the offense side of the ball. Defense, where they supposedly solidified themselves, we're seeing a lot of easy layups, a lot of losing the rebounding battle. That's another thing that's killing us, is we're losing the rebounding battle. So what's happening to the Knicks right now is they solidified the center position seemingly, but they're missing the guard play, and they're missing an alternate at the center. I think you're right. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see him get a little more chemistry. We're only 16 games in the season. It is a shortened season, but we're still only about 25% of the way there. I think there's time to recover, but uh, I don't see them recovering to where we kind of, I guess, fans wanted them to be. Yeah, and, and we don't see them making a title run. No. Well played. Well played. A lot of good content. It's your boy, Joe Pye.